Now I know there are tons of business owners and aspiring business owners that follow my page, and I wanted to make a video covering step-by-step -step how to make an online store, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we're going to do that with the sponsor of this video's website builder, Wix. So let's just go ahead and hop right into the content here and we're going to cover every single step on how to start an online store in under 20 minutes. So if you want to build your own Wix site, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Okay, popping over to the Wix website, we're going to do an online store. So we're just going to click online store here. And then because we want a little bit more functionality, we're going to do edit a template here with the website editor. And there's a template that I found earlier that I really liked for this case. It's called Tote. I'm just gonna search that. It's this real simple template, but you can search all sorts of things, whatever your product or service is, there's pretty much a template for that. I was kind of amazed as to how many templates there are here. So we're gonna go to view first, just so you can see full demo. So this is what the website template looks like as is, you know, very clean, very simple. And we're gonna use this as our template. So we're gonna go edit template. So here we are on the editor and let's just break down these tabs on the left here real quick. Menus and pages just lets you navigate between the various pages on the editor itself. Page background is literally the page background. If you want uh, this, this yoga lady in your background, you can, you can do exactly that. We're just gonna undo that real quick. Uh, the plus sign lets you add tons of different stuff from buttons, images, image galleries, menus, you name it. So let's just go to button real quick and let's just say scroll. If we wanted to do some kind of scroll, you just drag it on the site and there you go. You can, you can scroll, you can link it. If it's a button, you can link it to various things. It's very open as to the functionality there. And then the theme manager is for changing the color palette of the website if you wanted to give it a little bit of a different feel. And then add apps is even more functionality. There are tons of different apps depending on your type of business for bookings, for events, for blogs, for live chat, tons of different apps. Many of these are free on along with your Wix subscription. Facebook likes, Instagram feed, you, there's tons of things that you can add directly on the website. And then media, this is media either that you upload directly to the website from your own computer, or you can use the Wix gallery and there's tons of images here that you can search from. We're gonna do that in a second. And then my store is general e-commerce tools and we're gonna cover that again a little bit later. So we're gonna start up here with the title of the website. For this, we're going to do a coffee cup store because I'm addicted to coffee, so we're going to do a coffee. I, I just moved to Puerto Rico and I don't have like proper cups. I brought one cup, my favorite coffee cup, and my cat broke it. <laughs> so I have these real cheap ones right now, but we'll, we'll upgrade soon. Okay, so we're gonna call it Max's Cups. That's the business name, okay? It's as easy as just typing in there. And then we're gonna change this text here to a cup for every occasion done cup for every occasion looks good okay we're, i like the simple aspect of this i really like the white background so we're going to keep that as is for now and we need to add some products so we're going to go up to menus and pages and then go to the product page allow this to load and then we need to manage products and from here there's a bunch of these like old example products, but we don't need any of those because we are not selling totes. We're selling coffee cups here. I'm just gonna delete all of these, add a new product, and it's a physical product because we're selling coffee cups, but they also allow for digital products. Add images. So I'm going to upload the images that I'm gonna use for this site directly from my computer. I have them right here, three different coffee cups that we're gonna be selling on this site. That was just an example site, by the way. And uh, we're gonna do this one first, the dad cup. Add to page, super simple, add product name. We're gonna call it, I already have it there, the classic dad. Do price $9.99. And we're gonna put this on sale with a $1 discount, $8.99. Spanking deal, free shipping, there we go. And then this is the description of the item itself. So we're gonna say the classic dad. dad. Perfect for a few sips before Saturdays 
lawn care routine. There we go. <laughs> if that's not a good selling point, I don't know what is. And the rest of this, pretty self-explanatory. We're just gonna say it's in stock. There's no subscriptions here. We're, we're keeping it real simple for this example. Save, and we have that product added. Now I'm gonna add a couple more products here. Okay, so we have our three products added here, but of course you need to be paid, you need to actually receive money for these products once they sell, once your, your site is booming and successful. And before you set up payments, you'll have to choose a Wix business and e-commerce plan, so make sure you take a look at the options and choose the one that best fits your business. And they make getting paid very simple. We're just gonna go to the get paid section. Uh, yes, we are in Puerto Rico. And you get to choose which which provider you wanna to use to accept payments. So Stripe, which accepts basically all cards, PayPal if you wanna use PayPal, and you just connect by simply clicking the connect button and connecting to whichever account you want to use for payments. Super simple on setting that up. The other thing you'll have to do is set up tax before you launch your site. In order to do that, all you have to do is click set up store tax, then click get automated tax, agree to the conditions here, then you wanna add in your information and your address wherever your business is located. And then the tax is calculated automatically based on that state or region. And if you need to add another state or another region, you can just click add state, add that in there, and the tax is automatically calculated for that area as well. So here we are on the homepage. You can see it looks very simplistic, but it's kind of coming together. So if we just click on one of these, it gives you the general product details, however many you wanna buy. If you wanna buy 100 of these suckers, and you wanna add it to your cart, you can go ahead and do so. You can favorite the product. All right, subtotal, almost $1,000 for, for 100 of these. Okay, so it looks good so far. We're gonna go back to the editor and finish up editing here. Okay, so pages, we're gonna go back to the main shop page, the home page in this case allow this to load. So now we're back to the home page and we're gonna do a little bit more customization. We have to change this about so it makes a little bit more sense. There we go. And we're gonna make this background look a little bit better. We're gonna add a little bit of flavor here to the background. We're gonna go to image, and we're gonna search for a coffee. Oop, another E in coffee. Coffee image. And I like this one. I think that'll look good for the background. So we're gonna go change background. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I want this text to stand out a little bit more, so I'm gonna select both the text pieces, then hit edit text, and we're gonna go down to effects, and then just do a simple little outline on the text to help it stand out, and there we go, stands out a little bit better. So there's the site so far. Again, we can preview it real quick, make sure everything looks like it's on the up and up. All right, looks pretty clean so far. We'll go back to the editor. Now make sure when you're building, you also take a look at the mobile site because most people browse these websites on mobile these days. So this gives you a little bit on the mobile, how you want your mobile site to look, if you want it to scroll with the page or how you want the functionality to work. I just leave these on all the defaults because I think uh, they're the best options personally. And we can go to the mobile editor and we can see that the sizing is a little bit off. So we're just gonna move that cart up a little. We can see how there's 100 items in the cart, a cup for every occasion. So that spacing all looks pretty good. If we scroll down, this looks pretty good. So the sizing work, worked pretty darn well. All I had to do was move that little shopping cart icon. Then we can just save it and we'll go is it done? We'll go back to the desktop site. So it's good to switch back and forth and just make sure everything looks good on both. If you adjust the mobile site, it's not going to change the desktop site. So I adjusted that shopping cart. It's not going to hurt anything on the desktop site. That's important to note. Now, if you wanted this to look a little bit more spicy, a little bit more pizzazz, of course, you can always you know change the header design. You can throw in different colors, different de designs, different photos if you want to. But for this instance, we're just gonna keep it real simple with the white background. You can do the same for this product lineup here. Now we're just gonna look at the other pages on this site. So here's the cart page. See if there's any changes we wanna make here. The cart is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna leave this the same. I, I'm going with a real, real simple design here. We don't have to overcomplicate things. The thank you page, thank you for your order, followed by the buyer's name, which would autofill. So we're gonna leave that the same as well. 
the FAQ page, frequently asked questions. So this is nice that they allow for actual like drop downs and you can manage the questions. So how do I add a new question? Let's see. We're going to do how, how much is shipping? It's free. All right. So that one's good. We're just going to delete these other ones here. I'm going to add a question mark. All right, there we go. And then if we go to preview here, you can see the drop down works. It's free. All right, we go back to the editor, contact page, um, contact, here we go, contact page. This is where you have the form. So this is the auto form that comes with this website, but you can add different forms here. So if we go down to the little plus button and then we go to contact and forms, you can see we have far more options. And then each one of these can actually be customized even further. So like the form itself, you can go into form settings and customize basically anything you want from color to the message to response, emails, whatever you want it to respond with, you can have it done there. You can put in your business information here. And you can also put a form on the homepage if you want. If you had a service where you want people to call in for a quote, you could put that right here on the front. Again, you just hit that plus and then go to menus and forms and you add it right there. Now let's go into the back end functionality of the website. So in order to do that, we're gonna go to settings and then my dashboard. We've already talked about how you get paid. You connect that to the service provider that you want to connect it to. Now set up shipping regions because you have to ship your product somewhere. Here it just default with Puerto Rico where I live, but we're going to add a destination of just the United States. Click save. That way it can be shipped to all the states within the United States. And we have worldwide here. We're not gonna ship worldwide. And we are good to go there on shipping. Going back to the dashboard, we have shipping now set up. And let's talk about this sidebar here real quick. Store products, this is just simply the products that you offer. We already set this up, but if you want to manage your products, this is where you would do it. Store orders, this is where you can view the purchases that customers have actually made and abandoned carts. If someone added a thousand coffee cups and then abandoned it, you can know that that was done. CRM tools, this is pretty self-explanatory to see what exactly is going on with your customers with the workflow. Is there anything you can tweak to make your site a little bit more optimal? optimize marketing and SEO. This is for more tracking tools, for more marketing tools, email marketing. This is where it gets a little bit more technical and analytics and report. Similar, you can see your traffic, your sales, certain insights and benchmarks on your website and finances, which are your various payments, invoices, and sales. There is a lot going on here. And then once you have your site completely how you want it to be, you just simply click publish site. If you want to connect this to a domain that you own, you can do so as well. If you want to have maxescups.com, you can add it to that or whatever your site might be. But when you're ready to publish, you hit publish site, brings you back to the editor. Everything looks good. And then you just simply click publish up here has the URL that's gonna publish it with. So unless you connect your own domain, it's going to be a Wix site domain. We're gonna leave this as is. Click done. And we are now published with a fully functional Wix site. So you can use that link down in the description in order to sign up with Wix and you can build a site similar to this or whatever your product or service might be. As you can see, it's extremely simple, extremely intuitive, way better than writing out code by hand. It's literally drag and drop. So tons of functionality that makes building a website better than it used to be. I mean, I remember I made a website about 10 years ago and it was painful. So I hope that this was helpful and I hope you have a profitable day.